Here at the Yukon River, this giant stream of the north, fifth largest river on the continent, it's like going back to the Mississippi in the year 1750. 2,000 miles of river, there's just one town and a handful of Indian villages along it. An incredible wilderness that I got to enjoy and appreciate. And seeing that place made me again think of all these other rivers that I've been so privileged to know. And while none of them have that incredible wildness that the Yukon has, it made me think of the pieces that remain here, going way back to the Yakageni in the Appalachians, my old home river, where I sat on that rock that hot summer night and realized that this place was perfect. And how I knew, even as a 10 or 12 year old, how I knew it was perfect because it was natural, it had been left alone. Made me think of the King's River, which wouldn't exist today if it weren't for that courageous band of people who stood up to fight for their river when they were needed, so that all of us today can go back and see that place just the way it always was. It made me think of rivers all over our country, even urban streams like the Niagara here, below its falls. It's in a very urban area, but still it's got a wildness to it, which is just overpowering. It made me think of every river everywhere and how important they all are for the simple reason that we are made 70% of water. And every drop of that water in our own bodies comes from a river or from groundwater, which is inextricably tied to that surface flow. So this magic that I have felt for flowing water through much of my life in the Ann Fields, and the Bill Fields, and the Scott Fields, and so many of us feel, it's really no mystery. The rivers literally flow in our veins. And here, finally, another river of my youth. This is Slippery Rock Creek in Pennsylvania, another one of the rivers where I learned to canoe in this big wave here right in front of us. Picked me up in my canoe and whisked me away to that great unknown that I wanted to learn about. A path that took me to all of these rivers and to a richness of life. And I'm just so happy to be able to share a little bit of that richness with you here tonight.